Hello everyone, uh, greetings from Barcelona. Uh, I'm, welcome, I'm welcoming you to our latest uh, webinar about integrating a uh, protopixel into a DALI, uh, a DALI project, as you can see here. Uh, I am Sebastian uh, Meaza. I am the CEO at Protopixel. Uh, I am located now in the headquarters of our company here in sunny Barcelona. We are very excited to have this webinar with you today because it's going to be the first time we uh, share with the public the latest uh, DALI features that we have added to our, uh, to our software suite. We've been working on this uh, almost for more than a year and we've been sharing some information about this with some of our core partners, but this is the first time we are going to be showcasing to you these uh, novelties. I hope that you will, you will love it, actually. Um, just for you to have an idea about, uh, about what's the menu for today. So we are going to have an introduction to the Protopixel platform, super fast for, for some of you that uh, maybe you don't, don't know it. Although I see a lot of familiar faces into the, into the um, uh, connected today. Then uh, we are going to have uh, Kix Canto, our head of uh, design, creating a DALI project from scratch with Protopixel. And then you will see how the whole thing actually shapes up, how uh, also you can create moods, automations, and, and schedules with these new features. And, uh, and later, uh, at the end of the webinar, we are also going to share with you a case study about a, a project that has been recently created with these, with these uh, new functionalities. So you can get a bit of a taste uh, of what can be done. Uh, to finalize the, the webinar, we, are also having to, we will also have some Q&A, so please feel free to ask and share any impression that you might have. We will be very happy to, to share it, uh, to answer your questions. So as a, as a reminder, and in a nutshell, uh, Protopixel is the all-in-one lighting platform for any type of lighting project. Uh, you might know us uh, because of our dynamic uh, and SPI lighting control functionalities. This has been our, our core uh, talent uh, so far, but in the last years we have we have been growing the platform towards different type of agnostic technologies, uh, protocols, uh, devices, and third party technologies. So you can create any type of uh, project with our software. Uh, what does Protopixel allow to you? Well, first to take your uh, project designs to the next level to combine any type of lighting, both emotional, functional, color, movement in one single project. Also, uh, our software suite allows for a, a highly accelerated project implementation. Uh, I hope you will see some of these things today about how commissioning, uh, addressing, uh, discovering of devices gets extremely fast with, a, with the software suite. And finally, we also want you guys to add uh, more value to your projects uh, through digital services, like remote management, update of lighting scenes, moods, so on and so forth. So uh, just uh, for us, it's very important uh, to share with you. So what's the philosophy behind the software suite and what's the value that we want to bring to you? First of all, the software suite is highly agnostic and interoperable. We have built it in such a way that you will be able to work with different type of protocols and, standard in, and standards in a very transparent way. Also, we prioritize a simple, seamless experience uh, in every step of the lighting project. So we want you guys, project creators of different type, lighting designers, installers, integrators, facility managers to collaborate in one single digital space, which is Protopixel. And uh, obviously for us, a main uh, priority is quality quality of light, quality of experience, and quality of control by your customers. So uh, after saying, after giving you this uh, refresh, uh, let me introduce you to Kix Canto, our head of design, which is going to walk you through this webinar uh, with DALI technology. So Kix, uh, go ahead, please. Hi guys. Hello, I'm, I'm Kix, I'm head of design. Okay, so let me, I, I will be showing you um, the, the live demo, but before I would like you to, to introduce you a little bit on, on what we are going to be seeing today. We're going to be focusing on the Protopixel suite, okay, which as Eva said is for all kinds of projects, could be from, from small to really big projects. And in, in, in this webinar, in this session, 
we will be uh, focusing on DALI. Okay. Um, one important uh, thing um, to to understand first would be our general um, system architecture. Okay, which you will be um, displayed right now, um, where we have all the protopixel suite, which includes the mapping tool, the project tool, and our on, on our protopixel app, as as well as my protopixel, which are connect. We're going to be connected to uh, to a node, which is connected to a network. And here you will see this overview where we can control from SPI, you know, which our own controllers, to DMX using uh, third-party controllers. And uh, everything will be drive driven right now with uh, the DALI gateway that is what we are going to be focusing today. So this is basically the, the architecture that we will be um, using uh, today and now will be um, demonstrating. Uh, so without further ado, let's begin with the demo. Okay, so what you're seeing on screen right now, it's, um, of course, we see uh, the the opening of the Protopixel project tool, okay, which displays us uh, the Protopixel node here um, in, in this case. Okay, what is happening and what is what I showed before is that what we are doing right now is we are connecting to from my my computer right uh, running the the tool to a node which is which is this one okay our node is connected here and we see since we are in the same network we are able to see the node which has the, the IP address you no know, and we can see its version as well okay so the first thing um, that we will that we will start doing is that we will start with the installation of the node. No, this is you can see uh, at the bottom also the the stages and the what that we we are going to be uh, seeing today. So when we um, select the node, it's time. It's going to be time to set the name of our project. Let's do it. Okay. So in this case, we will call we will call this our webinar. Our webinar demo. Great. Now the first the first stage and one of the most important um, parts of the project is to define our floor floor plan. The floor plan right now is um, a blueprint that will allow us to see all of the the status of uh, of our installation. In this case, we are going to be calling this one the first floor. Let's say we are going to be uh, bringing all of the stage, the demo stage um, here. So let me put uh, first floor, demo stage, and I'm going to upload the DXF file. This uh, DXF file um, can be um, uploaded. And one of the most important things is that we are going to be able to zoom in or zoom out, uh, right? Where we can customize how we want the floor plan to look. And it's basically where we're going to, to be putting all of the blueprint, where we're going to be uh, setting up all of the elements that the installation has. So once we have the our, our floor, floor plan in case that we, that we have it, okay, we need to connect to the DALI gateways that we have in our installation. In this case, the DALI gateway that you can see here, okay, is connected as well to the same network as the node and as my computer. So I'm able to see both, but, um, I'm able to see them uh, in, in place. The first, the, what I need to do is go to the discover and addressing uh, panel. And we are going to start by connecting and finding the DALI gateways that we have in in our installation. So um, right now it's it's asking for for the installations for the gateways, and it, it's a matter of a couple of seconds. Let's wait a little bit. This is this step is very important since um, we can 
we are able to connect as many uh, devices, uh, as many gateways as we as we require. Okay, now right now it has found one um, Dali bus, and now that we have uh, we have found uh, this this device, now we need to bring all of the Dali Dali uh, ballasts and sensors and buttons that are connected to the same bus. Um, each one of these uh, th is, these buses can find or can control up to sixty four um, uh, devices. And one very important thing when we are starting from a project from scratch is that we need to add new elements to our installation. What is this going to to do? This is going to add all of the new uh, on the Dali devices that doesn't have any address, and it will. Um, it will um, generate one for them and bring them to the installation. Right now, you don't see anything. You know, see in the in the middle uh, in this screen. Well, uh, below my my face, you don't see anything. So once I start adding the new elements, you will start seeing. Um, no, it will start uh, looking for every element that is included. It will start looking for lights. It will start looking for sensors or switches or push buttons. Right now it has found one, two, three devices. Okay, it's found four. Okay, you see, right now it has found one light. It has found the second light, the third light, and the fourth light. Right now we have all of the lights that are including into our stage. Our stage, um, our demo stage currently has only well, four, what you, we will see right now, okay? It has four four lights, two push buttons. There are, well, two instances of push buttons that you can you will be able to see here, okay? These push buttons and also has uh, the DALI sensors that you can see uh, which, that which has occupancy and illuminance, which are in the middle of the stage. You can see this, this um, semicircle in, in the middle. So right now, since we are on the inclusion of DALI elements stage, the first, well, one of important thing, uh, now that we have our floor plan and the elements, which are right now unplaced, our next stage would be to identify them and drag drag and drop them into, into our project. So what I can, what we can do to, or take leverage from is the locate functionality that uh, DT that um, Dali um, offers, we can do this by tapping on the locate button. And right now we see that is the one that is uh, happening on the this semicircle. So I add this light, and I will I will name it. Okay, so it's easier for me to to recall uh, later. And then I'm going to select the, the other one. Okay, I can see the, that is the one, the square, it's this one. Okay, here on the right panel, we can see all of its properties. Uh, we can see that it's a light, that it's located on the first floor, which technology has when it was updated the last time. We can change some things like um, the configuration, minimum level, maximum level, or fade times. Which, are, which is very, very handy. And it will be very, very handy now that we create our installation. So now that we have the second light, which is the square. Okay, uh, right now I need to add another one. This one is the um, triangle. Very fast and by this one needs to be the um the rectangle you see it right now okay light four is the rect is our rectangle now we are going to be able to set also or, or place um our push button instances so we have them available as well and our sensor and illuminance sensor here in the floor plan right now i have all of our elements placed in place um, now it's time for the for the following stage, which would be to create spaces. 
um, one very easy uh, step to do would be to select all of the 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 elements that I have here. Okay, right click and create a space, a new space with the selection. Right now, this space includes all of the elements that are on on the first floor. Let's call this one our demo stage. It's going to be our demo stage space. When I have this, this space, I can select it and turn on or off all of the elements that are inside it. And I can also create what it was the next stage that will will, will um, has the name of moods. The moods are a very um, also a very important place a step in in uh, the creation of a project. The moods represent the scenes, no, are equal to the scenes. But in this case, they have uh, one one more uh, how do you say power, no, which is that they can be they can control Dali scenes, and they can control. Uh, other moods like protopixel moods or other technologies that we want to to use. So it doesn't matter which kind of technology you are controlling, the mood will will make it uh, will make it blend and will make it uh, all together. No, so let's create our first mood or let's capture our first mood. Um, to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of the lights, and I'm going to create a very um, and I'm going to change the regulation. Okay, let's make something very um, like 50, 40. Let's put some 50% like this. Okay, this is going to be our first, we're going to capture our first mood. That is going to be our um, relaxing, relaxing mood. Okay. And I'm going to create another one that is going to be my uh, day day to day. So in day to day, let's add everything to the to 100 percent. Okay, so everyone is is visible, and let's add this as day or daily. Let's put daily. Perfect. I save the mood. Now I can change between both of between both of the moods no in a, in at the same time and you will see something very very um very uh interesting here which is that they are they all um change at the same time this is because we have uh, created a mood that is being recorded into the into the uh, devices um how you say memory so they can change at the same time this is something that we call like accelerated moods uh, which is the, the difference between this no and having for example change uh, every everyone um turning on or off you see uh, sequentially this one change at the same time uh now that we have created this um space okay i'm going to create uh, something a little something more which is going to be Okay, let's go, let's start from from the relaxing, and let's give some protagonism to uh, the different the different uh, ones. So I'm going to create, for example, let's add the rectangle. I'm going to put this one. Great. Let's add these ones, and I'm going to capture the mood rectangle. Now I'm going to go to the other side to light the triangle. I'm going to go to the triangle and I'm going to put this one in 20%. Now we'll see how we can play with a little bit with light. Um, let's go to triangle. And right now we have created all of this relaxing. We can focus on the rectangle or we can focus for example on the triangle this very in a very uh, fast way we can create moods we can create elements we can sorry we can create spaces uh, so let's say that we would like to create a space only with these two elements okay we can create a space with this selection and have for example the the, the left 
the left this is going to be the left space that only controls these two elements okay so we have um these two elements we can turn them on or off we can create any any um, configuration ba based on the needs of our installation now that we have created our spaces and our moods let's finish up this demo uh, by connecting them or uh, creating a behavior so behaviors are a very a very important part now that we have created uh, this um, demo we will link them okay to these push buttons just to to do this what we need to do is we need to select on the instance of the of the button that we would like to to create the behavior we add the behavior and we need to set it set it up how we set it up is that we need to um, select the the push button create an action which is going to be when the action is applied let's let's put um right now that we're going to do the rectangle and now let's put this behavior which is going to be to apply the mood rectangle right so now when i whenever i press the buttons okay we will be able to switch sorry between both of them uh, behavior one and this behavior okay i created the same rectangle and this is going to be the applied mood sorry we can change it whenever we want triangle save it changes and now we can focus on triangle or on the um, rectangle for this for this time okay um well this would be uh we all we also have other different um more uh, functionalities that you can use for example that which are we're not going to be seeing right now um because of time but we will be able you will you can use as well and, and try it out which are the clc the continuous lighting control and also the um, scheduling functionality that you can that you can use for um on your everyday so let's say that we would like to create a new event that is going to be our daily operation we would like to repeat that uh, it repeats every you no know, only on weekdays and we would like we would like to have uh the uh, the mood daily here and it will start every day at 8 a.m Okay, we save the event and now every day we will have um this this uh, mood turn on and triggered um which is a very uh, something well new in our in our platform and very easy to use and to uh, create uh, events in our um on your daily operations well thank you very much um uh well, don't forget to write or uh, questions that you would like to know, and I pass the pass it again to Sebas. Thank you, Kicks. Uh, I'm going now to we are going now to continue with our with our uh, case study. So one second. Um, as you can see, uh, Kix has just uh, presented to you all these uh, new DALI functionalities that we have in the software suite. Uh, it's very important for you guys to know that, of course, you can combine all this lighting control together with our SPI dynamic uh, RGB uh, uh, lighting tools. Therefore, you can basically mix a wide range of, of, of lighting designs uh, in, our, in our software. Uh, now, for the sake of, of timing and for you to show you exactly what we are doing with DALI, it was specific to that. But I mean, the the, the limits are are, are really um, there are no limits in that in that regard. And a way to show you that is to share with you a first a case study that we where we were involved uh, in a project that was used that uh, it was using some of these uh, new DALI features, but also integrations 
with a DMX technology. So this basically has been a, a corporate project that took place um, in Spain, uh, where we were directly involved. Therefore, we can share some insights uh, with you uh, in a corporate building uh, for a polyvalent uh, room that was used for multiple purposes. So there were very specific requirements from the customer when it uh, when it uh, when it comes to the the lighting control that they were uh, aiming at. Uh, firstly. They were they had they had very concrete uh, security uh, security request. They were demanding that the installation uh, had to be uh, managed totally locally, uh, and of course uh, our project tool uh, can allows for working either uh, locally, fully remote, or hybrid. So uh, the software, the ProtoPixel software suite, was a good uh, fit for that. Another requirement from the customer was that the the technology used in the project should be highly interoperable because there were many third-party technologies that needed to be integrated into the project. You will see it uh, in a bit. So as we were commenting before, uh, ProtoPixel software suite is built in such a way that can integrate different protocols and different uh, technologies. So here, for instance, DMX devices such as uh, mixing tables, smoke machines, and also control for blinds were integrated into the, into the project tool. Uh, there were also some specific energy savings requirements. So the project uh, were um, it was the, it was uh, required to apply daylight control, and this is something that also uh, is possible with our current uh, uh, version of the software. Uh, so you will see it as well. Uh, on the other hand, uh, there was also a, a plus to have a way to quickly review the status of the different elements that were uh, included in installation. And uh, as you, as Kix was showing before, the project tool displays in real time um, the status of the different elements, uh, which makes very easy to understand if there is any any inconvenient, if there is any failure in the different elements from the gateways to the luminars. Mm -hmm. uh, therefore, that was a plus uh, for choosing ProtoPixel for that project. Uh, there were also some specific requests on physical control. Uh, the client was uh, asking to develop a number of uh, lighting scenes or moods that needed to be controlled uh, physically through, through pa pa uh, push buttons. And this is exactly uh, what our technology allows, as Kix was showing before. And finally, there were a number of automations, uh, uh, known as behaviors, that needed to be applied, uh, especially uh, integrating with different type of, uh, of sensors. So this is something that also we have uh, incorporated in our in our platform, uh, mostly to increase the energy saving and the and the user experience of the of the of the end customer. So now I'm going to introduce you to Lorenza Tavares, which is one of our uh, expert technologists. Many of you might know her already because our technologist uh, works hand uh, by hand with uh, with many of our partners. Uh, Lorenza knows very well this project because she was the assigned uh, technology expert uh, to, to support our partner in this project. So, Lorenza, uh, I, let you, I let you go into the technical details. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. This is our project. I'm, I'm really happy to show you this project. Our project and this building it was constructed, as you see, with different uh, kind of uh, floor plans. So we're gonna start in this one. This is our basement. You can see all of the elements uh, that you see already with uh, with the demo, the lights, the sensors that in this case was a principal way in this uh, floor plan because it's the basement and, and we wanted uh, that they illuminate when people pass through the, through the floor. So you can see here the different lights that we already uh, create in, in, in our floor plans. And you can see as well the spaces that we create. In the next one, it is the first floor and we have many devices here. So we have a mix of uh, the sensors, we have a mix of lights, we have a mix of um, uh, DMX as well, and digital part that we didn't talk about it, but we have a really mix of elements in this case. But the most important thing here in this project 
it is the kind the different and the many spaces that we could create because our client specifically uh, tell us that uh, he needs separate all of the all of the spaces in this floor plan. We can continue with this the the third one, and this is a museum. It was a simple uh, floor plan. We, you you can see you can see as well that uh, they are in red, and it means that they disconnect the devices for us. So it is really important for uh, us when we give support to to see what is happening in the project. Uh, and to tell them to the to our client if something is happening. So in this case, they just told us that they disconnect the devices and everything was okay with this. And then the last one that is um the one of the important parts because this one is a are a daily uh, light luminaries, but they want to control it by a DMX uh, table. So as you see in the in the top of the floor plan, you see a different icon that you didn't see in our uh, demo, and these are our release. So the relays uh, are here controlling through the bottom when we create the modes. We we separate if we want to uh, control it by the table, the DMX table, or if we want to control it our Automat our automatization, DALI automatization with our uh, project tool. This one that is in the in the first floor is a bathroom. So you can see the different uh, sensors. Um, here we have two. We have inside of the uh, different um, bathrooms, the sensor and the light because they want to turn on the light when they are inside of the bathroom, of course. And uh, at the same time, you can see here the behavior that we create for the bathroom. So we have the, the behavior and we have uh, that this one is for the uh, main bathroom. So we create this one and we specifically say for this space that we created. Is the same here as you see is a different part of the of our uh, of our space that was in the first floor as well, and you can see uh, different lights, and if you see that they are really to when they are together uh, or in a groups, you can see that they have two different sensors. You can see three different lights uh, close to each other and. It, it makes you easier to see in our floor plan. It is the same here. So here you can see the moods, the our global moods that we create for all of the project in 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 this moment. So we have uh, the global relax, we have the global off. We have the global 80 and we have the global on. And all of this, we put it in the bottom in the switch button that uh, they want to, where they want to uh, use as a um, form to uh, automatize, automatize or to uh, turn on or turn off our project. And in the, in the left side, is what that's what I was talking about. All of the spaces that our clients require. So as you see, we can create many spaces. In this case, we have uh, the bathrooms, or we have the principal entrance. Uh, we have uh, the 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 steps. We have elevators, and we can create all of these uh, spaces having in mind that uh, you have different ways to uh, organize or to uh, create moods for the space. Uh, if you have some question about the project or something, you can leave it uh, at the end of the of our uh, webinar. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lorenza. Thank you so much. So we uh, I'm going now to uh, go back to the presentation, one second. All right. So uh, through this presentation, you have a like a nutshell about how a real project has been implemented with the ProtoPixel software suite. 
combining obviously Zali with DMX technology. And of course, we are very we are very keen on now uh, start uh, conversations with you to know what do you think of which are your questions. Before that, uh, it's important also for, for, for us to share with you where were the main benefits that this customer got uh, applying our software in, in, in her project. No? Uh, the first main benefit is the efficiency on the implementation of the project in the, in the installation. So as you can see now, Protopixel now provides to installers with a variety of tools for on-site on -site installation and for verification that many of them, they do not require a computer. So that makes the whole commissioning process way more faster and more efficient. Uh, this is something that we, we have been always very, very focused on, the idea that of, of, of liberating no? or freeing the integrator or the installer from a desktop and have different tools for agile uh, configuration and commissioning. And now this is uh, better than ever before at Protopixel. Then uh, another uh, key benefit is the, the, the speeding up of the, of the different processes. So now the integrators can uh, start up processes with, uh, for instance, automatic discovery. Uh, we have a, a set of bulk actions that they can perform uh, to, to move faster during the installation. Also, we have a way better control and definition of the space. And as you can see now that you can use for, uh, floor plans and DXS uh, files, you can get a lot of information from the floor plans and configure better your, your working spaces. Uh, so thirdly, and not least, uh, there are a lot of uh, novelties and improvements in terms of maintenance. So now for the facility manager, we have a lot of uh, tools that may, will make him or her uh, more autonomous, allowing, for instance, uh, quick actions when, when you detect uh, very visually different type of, uh, of issues that favors an immediate re response from the facility manager. Things like, for instance, a replacement of luminars are getting are better than, than ever before at Protopixel. And also, uh, we have uh, a number of, of uh, user interfaces tool that reduce the downtime of a luminar, making the overall experience of the installation uh, better. So, of course, we can go deeper on this uh, more and more. Please feel, feel free to, to reach us if you want to know more about this project. It's very recent. Uh, it's something very fresh out of the oven. But now we are going to, to start taking uh, your questions. So I will be reading the, from, the, from the chat uh, and I will have uh, Kix and Lorenza also helping, helping uh, us with that. Uh, so uh, first question, how many moods can uh, be created, I guess, in the software suite? We say 16 like in DALI. So please Kix, if you take this one. Uh, yes, um, you can create as many moods as you, as you need. But uh, we don't have a, I say a, a limit on a limitation on, on it. The only thing, of course, due to the limitations of the Dalek technology, you will be able to create only sixteen moods that are synchronous, no, that will change uh, together all together when they when they are applied. Um, but you can create as many as you want and then um, accelerate um, the other ones as you need, no, uh, basically. The another important uh, cool thing is that you can also um, uh, combine different buses no? um, and create a mood that includes devices from different buses, and they will be uh, synchronous, no? uh, depending on on how do you say on the the amount left of of the of um, uh, yes of of storage, let's say that it, that is included in every device. Okay, Kix, thank you. Thank you for the answer. Uh, I hope that was uh, clear for, uh, for, uh, for you. Uh, uh, we have another question from Omar. Hi, Omar, how are you doing? Uh, um, I'm going to translate it as it is in Spanish. Uh, so another question. Is it possible to control uh, DALI luminars within the mapping tool, what was formerly known as, the, as, the, as Protopixel Create? So uh, I go back to Kix on this. Yes. Um... Well, you can, um, the answer is yeah, like yes and no. Um, if you want to control uh, DALI uh, devices, our, your, well, your best option right now would be to use the, the project tool, okay? Using uh, 
the DALI uh, gateway that that I that it's here on on that I was showing you. Um, of course, um, you could use uh, another you no know, integration using, for example, DMX to DALI, which you can use using uh, the formerly well what was called a create no right now called the mapping tool. So yes, you could you could use um, the mapping tool to uh, control DALI uh, fixtures using DMX. But um, if you use the protopixel tool, you will have um, more, let's say, more control over the functionalities like, for example, this uh, mood, mood creation that I was mentioning before, and mood acceleration, which I showed um, explained before. So yes, you can, but there are advantages on using the project tool, for example. All right, thank you, Geeks. Uh, I'll go to another question from an uh, anonymous attendee. Hi, thank you for your presentation. You're welcome. Uh, how to access to the tool if a designated computer on the site is not required? Who can access? Okay, I'm also going to have Geeks uh, answering that and Lorenza, but how to say just uh, as, a, as, as an intro. So the software suite runs uh, locally in your computer and then it connects to the, to the nodes, which are a, a place in the installation. So basically, uh, you, you can access to access to that node with any computer that actually runs the software suite. But Kix, I, I I let you elaborate on this. Yes, I, I will. I will show it. I will show you. Um, if we go back to the presentation, um, I, I, I can use the. Um, I can use this, and display the desktop. Okay, and I can show you no, the this presentation. Yes. So now with this, um, okay, um, let me show you the the architecture. Okay, what um, what you would need uh, to use you know, in order to 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 test uh, this Dali technology are two pieces of of hardware. Let's say the first piece of hardware would be. Uh, but a pixel node, which we can uh, think about as the orchestrator of everyone of everything, you will download the project tool, which is available from protopixel.io. Um, you can create your own your account and download the project tool, but you will need the node. Okay, uh, you will need a, a basic uh, network where you will connect your node, your computer, and a DALI, the DALI gateway. Okay, with all of this together, and of course, all of your drivers, uh, fixtures, switches, or sensors, you will be able to try to try to try out um, um, and experience the the suite, the protopixel suite. So yes, you you need a uh, some some uh, some tools in order to get to get uh, get it working. Thank you, Geeks. I'm going to re read another one. I mean, luckily we are having a lot of a lot of questions. Uh, that's that's very nice. Uh, I have another one from Rob. Hi, Rob. Uh, hi, guys. Thank you for the presentation. I would like to know about implementing this system into a, a into an existing system. For example, in bigger buildings where you usually already have a a, a boot system with the switch panels and everything, such as KNX. Okay, here uh, just to start, I would say that. In an existing uh, installation, so basically to to use the Protopixel software suite, then you will need to make a change on the on the DALI gateways uh, first. I would like also uh, Kix and Lorenza confirm that, but also I have to say that if you need to do some KNX uh, integration, for instance, together with this new um, uh, release of our software, we are also having uh, we are also giving access to our API. So through the local API of Protopixel. You could also perform some integrations uh, on systems like KNX, for instance, KNX. Sorry. So, if you are interested on testing that, please let us know so we can give you uh, access and more information about that. And just to elaborate on this answer, I also give a uh, uh, kicks the the mic. Yes. Um. If you would like to yes. Uh, next question. If you would like to 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 extend no or replace uh. Um, uh, how you say the, your current uh, devices, etc. As Sebas mentioned, you will need you know, the the Gali, the this Dali gateway, and uh, one one very cool thing that that will happen is that uh, we can of course 
bring all of, of the devices no, by, by adding the elements that are addressed, that already has an address. So we can bring them into the system. You, of course, you will be able, you will need to um, place all of the, the elements and start building your, your installation. One, one thing that currently um, we, are, we don't support, or let's say you need to create again, would be the, the scenes. No? The scenes is something that you will need to, um, that uh, aren't, how you say, uh, imported into the project, but you will need to, to do them uh, again. So yes, you can you can do you can uh, extend the installation or replace how do you say um, the 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 mo the modules that you currently have. You you will of course uh, leave the drivers and the switches. We can we support the DT six and DT eight. So you will leave them, but you will need to 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 create uh, the project as I as you saw that I was doing in in the demo. That's it. Okay, thank you, Kix. Uh, I will move to to another question, and we are uh, getting a bit short of time, but hopefully we are going to answer all of all, all of them. Otherwise, we are going to reach you directly. Uh, there is another question from Pablo. Hi, hi, Pablo. Uh, is it possible to to manage uh, RGBW drivers type eight with one uh, unique direction? The answer is not yet. Okay, not yet. This is something we are going to be uh, we are working on but uh, you cannot uh, do it right now. Uh, thank you for the question. And then uh, also we can reach you back to let you know, I mean, at what uh, point of the following months you will be able to, to, to do that. Uh, so we have a last questions that I'm also checking here with our technical team, which is, uh, is it a multi-master DALI system? Will it work? Uh, will it work using world DALI panel to manage the lights? Uh, so uh, basically, uh, our system is a DALI 2. So it means that basically you can uh, use it with any type of sensor, a patch button, DALI, DALI uh, um, interface, and so on. Uh, but no, uh, but it can be only one master so far. Okay. So um, this gives you a, a variety of options, but uh, for the moment, you can use only one master. Uh, I think we don't have uh, one second. Uh, how can the software recognize which product is patch button or sensor and give the exact tag during auto discovery result? Super nice question. Okay, I'm going to let Kix explain you this uh, this experience on the behaviors uh, of the software suite, so so you can get a, a full a full response. Kix. Yes, um, this is achieved, of course, by. Uh... Um, knowing which type of inst instance, no, the DALI, the DALI element uh, reports that it has, no, and so what we do internally is that we, of course, map those uh, capabil no, those capabilities, and we as we have a, a a way of knowing which type they are, and we can uh, how do you say uh, present you this experience and these icons and these um, uh, capabilities. So, for example, if you see. Uh, if you have, for example, a DT6 um, fixture, uh, you will or driver, you will only see you no know, the brightness control. Uh, but if you have a DT8 uh, with temp uh, color um, color temperature um, or something like this, it will detect that it has color temperature, and you will be able to have as well the the brightness. If you have a push bot push buttons, you will also be able to um, know, for example, if they are if they can be uh, pressed or they have a long press or they have short press in most of the DALI 2. Um, since we are using DALI 2, the, we are using also the specifications and all of the, the, the reports that the devices give to us. So this is basically the way that we're using now. Thank you, Geeks. Uh, we, have another, we have another question. Uh, uh, could we change the DALI curve uh, in the software? Yes, you can. You can apply changes on the on the on the DALI curve, both linear or logarithmic, and you can do it directly from the user interface, uh, which make it very easy for you to decide uh, how do you want to to work with the with the DALI curve. Um, ah, so you will see something now in the screen. Let's see. Um, yes, this is by um, selecting. 
the element you want to to change no and going uh, to select if you want the line the the curve to be linear or log logarithmic it's very no it's very easy you can as well change the minimum level um uh, available in your driver to the maximum level and also the faded times um that that you would like your your um fixture to to respond so in this case for example um when we turn off the square, so if we change the fade time to zero, for example, it will change directly. Whether if we change it, you know, if we add one one second, for example, it will do it in it will do the whole curve in one second. So this is uh, how you do it in the pro the project tool. Thank you, Kix. Uh, so. We are going to, uh, now to answer uh, the last question. Uh, after a power failure, will the scheduler resume automatically once the power uh, um, returns? Well, um, I think I'm just trying to get some information on this. If we lose the, the time, uh, when you have, uh, uh, I mean, if you, if you lose the time once you have to make a change, uh, you can keep the, it goes back to the to the original uh, uh, program. I think Kix, maybe you can you can help uh, replying that better. Yes, when it um, when the node, uh, for example, in case of a power failure, it will return again, read the schedule, see what is the current no what what the schedule should be no, uh, and it will apply that uh, that behavior or that mood whatever you uh, how to say selected. You can, for example have the space turned on or off or apply a, a mood right now in the when you schedule you no know, an event so so yes it will go back to the to what it needs to thank you geeks so i think we have gone through all the questions from your from the chat uh, we really appreciate uh, that you have the the chance to connect with us and also ask all these questions um we are of course uh, happy to i mean to answer anything else that you might have um uh, if you reach us by email or if you reach uh, us through our website uh, we are really happy again that we are sharing these these new features to you guys uh, we are super committed to 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 be able to evolve protopixel to to a, a tool that will allow us to make possible any vision of light there will be more webinars coming at the beginning of the of the of 2024, and I take advantage of this connection to let you know that we are going to be in ISC 2024 Integrated System Europe, uh, that takes place uh, likely here in Barcelona. So if you are planning to attend or if you want to have a hands-on experience on the platform and more novelties that we will present there at the end of June uh, of uh, January, sorry, uh, please uh, reach out. We will be happy to to see you here. So. That was it uh, in the name of uh, Lorenza, Kix, and Clementina that is here um, uh, in, the, in the back and the rest of the team here in Barcelona. We send you greetings. Uh, we hope you finish the year in very good uh, shape. Please reach out if you have any question. Uh, we hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.